Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good morning. The time now is 5.50 and we are entering another unsettled weather pattern. So another week, another unsettled weather pattern. A little active later on, more so tomorrow when our rain chances increase. But right now, going forward, this little stationary front that you see to our south, that's going to eventually lift to the north as a warm front, which is just going to surge warm, moist air ahead of a cold front that will move in that is currently still well to our northwest and to our west. Eventually that will pass through on Wednesday, but that warm front means it's going to be warm. It's going to be very muggy, especially tomorrow where our temperatures will be in the upper 70s, maybe around 80 degrees. So rain chances today around 40%. So some scattered showers and thunderstorms increasing to around 60% on Tuesday and then showers and storms become likely Wednesday. Now notice a cold front passes on Wednesday, but rain chances are going to continue into Thursday. So we'll still have a lot of moisture in place. So that is essentially is just going to overrun that cold front on Wednesday. So we won't be done with the rain at least until late Thursday night or even early Friday morning, but it will be substantially cooler by then. So to run through the future cast today, again, clouds will hold steady throughout the day. And again, showers and thunderstorms will likely develop this afternoon and this evening, but more so north of I-10 and 12 today. So if you live south of I-10, your rain chance will be a, t a touch lower, around 30% or so, but north of of I-10 and 12 between 40 and 50 percent. Running through the future cast into Tuesday again, cloudy conditions, and then we'll start off with some fog, and then throughout the day, showers and thunderstorms will develop. Come Wednesday, that's when the front will begin to sag more to the south, and then rain chances will begin to increase again Wednesday and into Thursday. But the highest rainfall totals once again will stay to our north, and this is going to be with the areas that have seen substantial rainfall totals over over the last two or three weeks, and they're still anticipating an additional two to three or more inches of rainfall, and that includes the city of Jackson that's already going to be dealing with some flooding issues because of the Pearl River. Meanwhile, here our rainfall totals between now and Saturday morning will be between one to two inches, south of I-10 a little lower, um, uh, uh, less than two inches or so through the next five days. 72 today with a southeast wind between five and 10. Tonight will fall into the mid-60s, and it's going to be pretty much steady will hit our low and then temperatures will continue to hold into the mid 60s through morning. As for tomorrow, thanks to that warm front, it's going to be warm, muggy 77. And then let's just go ahead and skip ahead to the weekend because why not? For the parade, the crew of South Downs on Friday, it's going to be dry and it's going to be chilly. Temperatures will be in the 40s and into the 50s. And of course, we're all awaiting Spanish Town on Saturday. Around 10 a.m., cool and sunny with a temperature near 53 degrees. Around noon, when it rolls, 58 sun and clouds. And then the afternoon, 62 for a high. Thankfully, we will stay mostly dry, although a shower may be possible late in the evening. It's going to be pretty similar to what we saw last week when, with rain chances increasing just gradually into our Sunday. But even then, it's not going to be a washout. Let's get a check on your traffic this morning.